This video will demonstrate how to install and run the Chrome extension Visor to dim screens and provide reading aids for students. To get started, let's head on over to the Google Chrome Web Store. Here I am in the Chrome Web Store on the screen for the Visor Chrome extension. First, if you don't know exactly what a Chrome extension is, it is a small program that installs inside of or on top of your Chrome browser to provide a little additional functionality. If you are signed into your Google account, so you sign into the Chrome browser or you are signed into a Chromebook, your extensions will follow you from device to device as you sign into the browser. You don't need to worry about the web link for this because in the video's description down below, I will provide a short link that will get you right here if this is something you want to install or you want to push out to your students. So I'll go ahead and click Add to Chrome and add this extension, and then we're going to head over to a web page to set up and run the extension. What we see now is that the extension has been installed in our browser. You can see at the top right of the screen, there's a little pop-up letting us know the visor has been installed. I'm going to X out of that. And then you see the visor icon all the way at the right of my list of extensions over here in Chrome. And it looks like a little computer monitor. I'm going to click that once and it should turn the extension on and allow me to customize the settings. So you'll notice that once I click to turn it on, we have the background over here in green, and you may notice this little um, lighter spot that as I move my cursor up and down the screen and scroll, that we have that reading line to help focus our reading. We'll click this extension icon one more time and take a look at how we can customize the settings. So notice we have the color settings. We can adjust the reds, greens, blues, and black and white tint. And then this bottom icon over here, that is the width of the reading line that you can make it a bigger reading line or a smaller reading line. I can click away to hide the settings and just read what's on the screen. Again, noticing that if I move my mouse up and down, the reading line will move. And now if I start to scroll, the reading line will stay where it is and the text will scroll into the reading line. When I'm finished, I just click the extension icon and hit the power button. Now, if I have it turned on and then I navigate to a new page, I'll need to go back up and turn the extension on one more time. This has been a short demonstration on how to install and use the Chrome extension Visor.